Call of Duty World War II was about honoring the story of the world's costliest war. And with the Resistance DLC pack, we really get to continue that story. This next chapter really puts you in the heart of being a Resistance fighter. We're really gonna take you from three iconic Resistance-themed maps, a brand new War MP map, and our next chapter of Nazi Zombies. For the DLC season, we are very much pulling from historical reference to try to make a really holistic DLC theme. Early on, Resistance was something that really struck a chord with the team. It was something that we were really passionate about. We got a real taste for it in the single player campaign. Tonight, we take back our city. These were not just your standard soldiers. These were civilians. These were everyday people who were fighting on the Allied side. People were in disguises. They were underground. Clandestine operations took place in speakeasies like this around Europe, where they tried to disrupt the Axis and German war machine. There's so many ways to resist, and there are so many different types of resistance uh, efforts, from the German resistance to the Czech resistance to the French resistance. So each operated differently. We're depicting that in each map. Our first map is Valkyrie, set in Prussia, Hitler's Wolf's Lair. That's where a group of officers tried to kill Hitler, but also as many other uh, high-ranking officers as they could. We wanted to design that map for multiple play styles. The outsides of the map, there's a lot of sniper lanes there, but if you work your way through the middle spaces and through some of these other um, different bunkers, you're gonna have a lot of run and gun, you're gonna have a lot of shotgun. So our second map is Anthropoid, set in occupied Prague in the Czech Republic. It's the assassination attempt of the second hand of Hitler. He was in charge of controlling the city of Prague. So it's an urban map, but this map has a lot of height variation as well as some really strong, tight interiors that are gonna give a real wide variety of gameplay. We're really proud of bringing back a Modern Warfare 3 favorite map, Resistance, which is called Occupation in our game. It's set in Paris. That was so iconic to the Resistance movement that it was important for us to have that map. It's on the neighborhood of uh, Montmartre, uh, so you can actually see the Eiffel Tower in the distance. Long sight lines, so you get a lot of play with mountain division, and you can bring out your LMGs, put them up on ledges. It's still a really fun map. Of course, we've got a brand new war mode called Operation Intercept. And this places you right in the heart of the FFI, or the French Forces of the Interior. The great thing about War Mode is we really get to try things that are really new and unique that you haven't seen before. Fans are going to be excited about the mechanics in War Mode and how they coincide with the theme of the map. Your first objective is to rescue the Resistance fighters. After that, you capture some radio equipment and you lead the attack. And the next chapter in Nazi Zombies, The Darkest Shore, the most terrifying chapter we brought to date. For this next chapter in the game, our characters, they've uh, received intel about the movement of Dr. Straub. He's gone to this foggy island just north of Germany. We really wanted to play with something new in this map. We, we wanted to play with this idea of what happens when fog rolls in. You can't see them until they're five feet away from you. It's really creepy. There's a sense of things that could come out from the fog. <laughs> For the Darkest Shore is that we have a new weapon called the Ripsaw. My favorite weapon in the game thus far. It is a combination buzzsaw, gun, and it handles zombies up close and at a distance. We've gotten experimental with some of the, uh, the gameplay here, and we've created a new zombie. This is a zombie that is clever, that is strategic. It is uh, one of the scariest creations that I've ever seen. There's a lot of content in this DLC package. This is something that we put a lot of heart and soul into. So it's really important to us that these maps will deliver on fans' high expectations. We're looking forward to the next DLCs because we get to talk about different phases of the conflict and explore different parts of the world. It's the biggest, most exciting DLC we've ever offered.
and we can't wait for you to get your hands on the Resistance. Buy the season pass and get the Carrington bonus map.